Hey, fourth grade, let's take a break from the text and see what the commentators have to say in this edition of Comcast. So our parak begins with a strange episode. Yaakov offers a korban to Hashem. That's not the strange part. The strange part is uh, who he offers it to. The Torah tells us he offers it lelohe aviv Yitzchak to the God of his father Yitzchak. Why is Yitzchak singled out? Why is Avraham not mentioned here? Hashem was the God of Avraham as much as he was the God of Yitzchak, but only Yitzchak is mentioned. What's going on? So there's three explanations, starting with Rashi. Rashi says the fact that Yitzchak, the father of Yaakov, is mentioned, and not Avraham, the grandfather, teaches us a lesson about how to honor our fathers and grandfathers. We should honor both, but the honor of a father comes before the honor of a grandfather. According to Rashbam, he takes a different approach, one that is based on some of the historical facts of the Torah. Yitzchak also faced a similar circumstance that Yaakov is facing here. When Hashem reveals himself to Yitzchak, Yitzchak responds by building a mizbeach and offering a korban, just like Yaakov is doing right now. And so, because Hashem is revealing himself to Yaakov, Yaakov responds by doing an action that Yitzchak took years before, and so because it's the same action that Yitzchak did years ago, Yitzchak is mentioned here specifically to show that Yaakov was doing something that his father had done all those years before. It's not to exclude Avraham, Hashem was the God of Avraham as much as he was the God of Yitzchak, but just the circumstances were the same circumstances that Yitzchak faced, and so he's mentioned, not Avraham. There's a third possibility here, and that's the Sforno. Now, Hashem, if you recall, told Yitzchak that he was never allowed to leave Eretz Canaan. One of the reasons for that is because Yitzchak was offered as a, or almost offered as a korban on Har HaMoriah uh, years and years before this, and he had a certain kedusha, a certain holiness that prevented him from leaving the holy location of Eretz Yisrael. As a result, he was never allowed to leave Canaan and go to Mitzrayim. Yaakov, however, is about to leave that holy land of Canaan and go to Egypt, and Sforno thinks that Yaakov may have felt a little bit badly about this, that he felt like he was kind of insulting his father's memory, that Yitzchak, who was so holy, never left Canaan, and here's Yaakov leaving that location that Yitzchak was never allowed to leave. And in a way, he felt badly about it, and so when he offers this korban to thank Hashem and to express his trust in Hashem, he does so with a feeling of hesitation that here I am going to a place that my father was never allowed to go to. I feel badly that I'm doing something my father would never have been allowed to do. And that's why Yitzchak is singled out, not Avraham. Uh, Hashem is still the God of Avraham as much as he is the God of Yitzchak. But Yitzchak is mentioned because of a particular circumstance here. So these are three explanations which try to help us understand why Yitzchak is singled out not Avraham, even though Hashem was the God of both.